the history of me and Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Now, this is back when anime games were first coming out. Naruto Storm 2 was the first anime game with online play, not officially, but officially in terms of, you know, popularity and product, because uh, everybody knows that Raging Blast is a bust. So, this is a tragic story about young Gabaya back in high school. This is when I was heavy into nons, the animation and manga, when I was heavy into anime in general. And what you have to know about this time period is this is when anime had composure. This is back where, you know, anime, the actual thing had composure, like the shows back where I had choreography like Naruto vs. Pain, and music had composure like dance, you know, Jay Stylin. Back when 40 first came out with Bitch, the times changed for a really big reason. Literally, I was trying to fuck, you know, um, big booty hoes like Destiny. I still had the mindset of an anime fan. I was smoking weed. I was trifling. When this game came out was when I was, you know, um, trifling. But I was trifling based off being a good person. And see, what happened was, you know, I gained some swag because I learned how, you know, um, dress better. I learned how to dance, you know, over time by gang members, but I was a gang member myself. Now, let's not get far into, you know, um, Ultra Ninja Storm, because what this was, was this is the first year that I checked out Fairy Tale, you know, the anime, because what this was, was this is me, you know, um, knowing that I'm an anime fan, knowing that I'm not a gangster, adapting. So here's what happened. Everybody, including me, was, you know, scared and hyped for Ultra Ninja Storm 2 when it was first coming out just because of the first one and the first one was devastating where it came to gameplay when it first came out I just couldn't stop playing it the movesets of the characters are on point the gameplay the graphics were amazing they were intense so it all started why I started you know where you know on um, purple outfits you know when I was going to school you know like I had a purple Stewie shirt going on I had you know um black shiny jeans literally sometimes I would wear green sometimes I would wear collars sometimes you know I would wear really flat things like sometimes I would wear graffiti I would wear you know um basically you know um wear on top of wear on top of wear on top of drip on top of drip on top of drip and I would always have something stylish you know um on my feet like you know um converse rocker rare not rockefeller rocker rare anybody know what lugs are lugs are you know um energy boots and it all happened the one day where i was you know um hanging with you know um robert and his cousin smeggy in his backyard and every single time literally i would ask for a doobie and then i would go home and play naruto and then literally what happened is i was kind of getting in trouble in school you know i'm I'm saying from a black person's perspective, you know, um, because I wasn't getting in trouble all the time. And then what happened was I got high, literally, my friend, you know, Ben, you know, um, Robert and everyone. I got home, I started playing outside, literally, and um, my brother was playing the game on Story Mode. He's like, you gotta stop smoking. Literally, I look at the game, I'm like, bruh, this is so fucking clean. He's like, shut the fuck up, you're a fucking high boy. <laughs> But this is when it gets really intense, this is when it gets really out of pocket, literally. This is when literally I was facing Sasori because everybody used to cheat with Sasori online. But you know, I had thing literally thinking that I was Sasori myself, like I was the only one playing as him. And so literally, this is the one why him with the Ultra Special, when we're both Sasori, I'm all like, bitch, literally. <gasps> And then there goes a gang war with Amy and Aolani. Literally, when they're watching, you see what happened was literally these uh, girls made a contract with me and my boy James. Someone I haven't seen in a while, Lily, who I'm two tier list above, and they made a deal that it's gonna be a video game war, Lily, where the girls watch, you know, uh, me play video games while they're smoking weed. But bottom the line, I was wearing these purple outfits, I was wearing these stylish, you know, uh, clothes to school, you know, anything but Jordans, but you know, I was still, you know, um, rocking stylish as ever. And um, what ended up happening is I was continuing to play this game while I'm wearing outfits, continue playing this game while I'm wearing outfits, you know. Um, later on, I got into a Beastie Boy mentality, literally, um, that shows you literally the outside things. But this is a flow, you know, video. This is a pure, you know, flow video that is based off composure, and I hate this shit, you know. Because what it is, is it's naturally, literally, how the world is. This is how it was, that's where I'm growing up. But, you know, um, we don't live in that world anymore, you know, suckers. So, anyway. I told you, I lived a long time, I knew literally, if you do all your research, like if you actually care, if you don't, you know, gaslight, you know, you know push it forward to mental health, you can understand my problem was being punked, and one of the main examples of me being punked, you know the fake Kyle Current Town and Bleaks, where Eisen plays everybody, literally, I could have watched that entire archive, what I did was I got suspended for smoking weed, literally, on campus, I had a bag on me, so what ended up happening was, um, literally, I stopped, you know, um, for six months smoking, but, 
as soon as I, you know, um, got back on, they reported it. You see how they did that? And I actually know how that shit works today. What happens is a therapist is thick and she doesn't want to admit that she likes you and they want you, you know, work hard in order to get her. Like it was going to be rewarding when it wasn't, you know, and that's the main example of me being punk. That's also my contradiction as an anime fan. The fact that I spoke to and the fact that I watched a Japanese cartoon. Literally, I'm like, I used to such a boss. My biggest problem in high school was literally like, oh, I'm a big boss. Like, literally, you're my son. Literally, and then that same person, because it didn't try too hard to fit in, literally ends up pulling that same girl with an ass. And now he's saying, now you're my son. Now we're all older and we all know what happens now, but it doesn't matter. The main point of this video is that I was struggling as an anime fan and you know, I couldn't make my mom happy because she's not like other black mothers. Literally, the fact that I'm getting good grades in school literally isn't enough for her. It's the fact that I'm doing wrong at all. Literally, and that's the main, you know, point that's kind of wrong in my county is that they hold me against how smart I am instead of giving me the same privileges as other people. Literally. Before I get into the actual history of being Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, let me tell you that um, it's the equivalent of somebody dying and being a gang, but somebody literally being dying, being loved by their family, literally, in my life, you know, definitely, you know, um, seems to be dragged on. It's kind of a depressing topic. But let's get who I played Ultimate Ninja Storm with. I played with, you know, um, my friend Robert, my best friend Robert Rasmus, and he was saying funny shit like, I can fuck you up when you're caught with where I'm awesome up. We were probably fool, you know, my best friend, Lily, who didn't smoke, who was my uh, best anime fan, Lily, and he drove to the side like, you know he's not stupid. This is crazy, Lily, this is composed, this is like, basically, this is the original game before it got all molded. So, let's get on to the history of the Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Okay, so first off, Lily, I was dangerously good at that game, but what was I famous for? I was famous for grabbing. Lily, like, I would set up, Lily, I would hit you with support, and then Lily, I will grab you. Lily, and then Lily, um, I was gonna do a special too, like, if you're paying, Lily, I'll let you do that on my equal set. As soon as you're open, I'll go in for the Ultimate Special. I will do a whole bunch of, you know, things that were, you know, really radical and out of this world. Now, people fucked my mentality was that's back when it was unlimited subs, and what they do is they compare, you know, saving your subs, you know, and other things like that to a real fight. So, first off, I'm gonna explain, Lily, that my friend Andre used to always come over, Haimu Kim, you know, Haimu Kim Stallings. Lily he used to always come over, he used to always play as Lars. Lily he used to always tell me about different games like Street Fighter and Tekken, how they play right differently, how Ultimate Ninja Storm is cheap, and how I used to always, you know, keep grabbing. And how my older brother always wanted me to play Call of Duty. And I was so uncoordinated, I can only, you know, um, be with, um, uh, supports and nothing else. Literally, so what ends up happening, you know, um, is I end up only shaking in Call of Duty because they're close by. Literally, so he's all like, oh, you grab one game and shake another. Your shoe are multidimensional. So, let's get to actual gameplay. I was so wrecked with the sword, and I was so, you know, uh, great with everybody opening into Storm that it got down to a showdown. When I kept on being people as the sword, you know, I was always a guy composed, you know. I will pick, you know, uh, Sai, Sino, I would also do 10-10 Lily. When I always used to play Andre Lily, I would throw a paper bomb Lily, and then he would uh, reverse to the side, and then I would grab him with that long-ass fucking pole. And then it got down to a legendary battle. Since we both keep cheating, since literally it is a chain game all around the world. Somebody, you know, um, whose username was, you know, Marvel Comics and shit, literally, um, said, I gotta admit, literally, in order to win, you gotta get away with a couple of grabs. It came down to a showdown between me and Sasori and somebody else was using Minato, literally, and I barely beat him. Now I transformed into Sasori, literally, and it got to literally the last second. I just had more health. That game was poison. That game was poison for my mind. And so what ended up happening was I ended up facing this guy named Love Anime Girls. I don't know where he is today, but you know, um, I'm still in love literally with his gameplay and I hope he has a booth, you know, because I went to a couple conventions, a couple, you know, um, anime girls invited me to a convention. It wasn't really cool. So what ended up happening was um I ended up looking my rank on Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 and I was ranked 7,000 in the world. 7,000 in the world. Now with frequency you can add that shit, you know, um basically saying that's not Xbox combined, you know, um, but because that is the original anime formula, if you're wondering, in the air realm, that means I'm 7,000, you know, in terms of skill when things first start. You can try to apply other things like, you know, playing Tekaichi, playing Ultimate Tekaichi, you know, um, things that drag on that don't matter, you know, adding more, you know, uh, side cooper formulas, but overall, you know, that's my skill as an original anime fan. So, let's get to the online playing who I played with. First off, I played with this guy named Lance Anbu, who's Ambulance Backwards, who's a really good rapper. 
who talked to me about literally taking his daughter to school, and when I tried to stay up late with Karen, you know, um, being his ass from Karen in the video game, he said, literally, he didn't want to get me in trouble with my mom. And I used to do, you know, hella shit. Like, I used to eat a bagel, literally. Um, I used to customize the PS3 backgrounds. That really is customizable. Let's be real here. And then there was this guy named JD Complete. Literally, when I got my bike, I kept on asking if he was black over and over again. Literally, I'm like, what's your name? He's like, um, JD Complete. I had him literally say it backwards. Literally, um, and he's like, yeah, JD Complete. Literally, and then I asked if he was actually black. He's like, bro, I'm pretty black. <laughs> and then I have white guys follow the whole timeline of the fourth grade ninja war talking about how Conan died early. I was talking about all that shit. Yeah, I was into that shit. But anyway, um, this is the history um, between me and Ultimate Ninja Storm 2.